you know, it's always a tension, the idea of how, you know, how do we identify ourselves in, in one place or the other. And uh, I am proud of being Lebanese. I am proud of being Arab American. I, you know, it's something that, that definitely has shaped my identity. It's something that I've chosen in some ways, too. I think Arab Americans can often afford not to, you know, they're, they're not uh, instantly identifiable as such. And so it, in some ways it is a choice to make of how we identify ourselves and how, how we conceive of ourselves. But it is something that became important to me, uh, you know, at a young point in life. And in some ways it shaped the... the the, the career that I chose, becoming a journalist, becoming a foreign correspondent, working as a reporter in the Middle East. Um, and you know, as that identity became more important, you often try to make sense of it in an American context, and that's not always the, not always the um, easiest task to do. You know, there was a, uh, it was interesting growing up in Oklahoma, my, the, the priest at the church once made the remark that the Lebanese were only Lebanese in the kitchen. And I think there was some truth to that. You always had this notion of being Lebanese or the notion of being Arab American to some extent. But I think there was also, there, there was a remarkable degree of, of assimilation, of, of, of trying to integrate within the, com the community, the state, the, um, you know, the society at large. Uh, I think there were twin forces at work in a way. There was that sense of a Lebanese community, of, of being proud to be Lebanese, of, of being part of the church there in Oklahoma City, but at the same time not wanting to be too different. And I think that came out time and again, is that, you know, we are distinct, we do have a heritage we're proud of, but at the same time we're not that different from everyone else. Uh, because we're dealing with a, a level of discrimination, a level of stereotype, a, a level of, in some ways, hostility that I think is unprecedented. I think it becomes ever more important for us to actually help shape that culture, help shape those notions, those ideas, that, that sensibility about who we are, about who, how this world looks to us and how this world looks to others. Uh, and the more we do that, the sooner we do that, probably the better. But I think I've found it sometimes painful as a journalist, knowing that when I'm in Iraq, for instance, and I, you know, I am covering this spot story, and this spot story is carnage, and it's bloodshed, and it's people dying, and you know, it almost, I think, reinforces this notion often in the United States that this, this region out there, the, the Arab world, the Middle East, is just a place of violence. It's a place of, of hostility and conflict, when you know, what drew me to it in the first place is, is how gentle it can be in some ways, and how you, know, you can walk into a room and, and someone will always say hello. You know, there's, a, there's a sense of community, a sense of almost intimacy, I think, in, in how you deal with each other that I think is often lost. The idea of being Arab American, I think, you know, to me it's probably the only reason I do what I do. In other words, working in the Middle East as a foreign correspondent, you know, I, I, do, I do think there's a role that, that Arab Americans play in, in trying to make sense of the region that we, we do share ties to at the same time we're Americans. And, and, and sometimes we can, in some ways we can put a foot in both places and try to make better sense of what's going on.